Hey guys, Anthony here with a tutorial on how to create an exploding box animation in Video Express 2.0, which is a fun generative AI video creation app. So here is an example of my first exploding box animation that I tried and overall it came out pretty good. So I tried different variations of it. Now let me show you how. So I'm logged into my Video Express account. It has a basic video editor as you can see here. Start by clicking on Create with AI in the right side toolbar. From this pop up panel, choose Create from Prompt. And then you'll see this dialog box. You can choose Landscape or Vertical. I'll just stick to the default Landscape mode. In this image scene prompt box, you need to enter your prompt. This is the prompt that will create the image. Next, I'll use this drop down and then choose photorealistic. I'll uncheck both these boxes and then click on create image. It will then start generating the image based on the prompt. Just give it a few seconds. So here is the image that uh, it generated. And if you're not happy with it, you can hit the create image button again. If you hover your mouse over the image that was generated, you can use the save button to save the image to your media library. Next, in this video action prompt box, enter a prompt to make the box explode. Essentially, this is the animation prompt. And I'll share some of my prompts in the description section of this YouTube video. I'll check this box, which will essentially increase the duration of the video clip up to eight seconds and then click on Create Video. It will then start generating the video and then bring you back to this page where you'll see this notification saying that the video will be in the media library once completed. So I'll close this dialog box and then click on Media Library in the right side toolbar. And then I'll go to the folder which reads My AI Videos. And here you'll see the progress of the video generation. And once completed, you can right click on it. And from this pop up, you can click play to preview it, which is what I'll do. And as you can see, that's how the animation came out, but not exactly what I was expecting. And that's the reason why I'm showing you this example. So when you're not happy with how the animation came out, you can click this redesign button and then it'll bring you back here where you can modify this video action prompt. So I'll delete this uh, prompt and then add a modified version of the prompt and then click on create video. Again, it will regenerate it and then bring you back here. So I'll close this dialog box and then go to Media Library. And here is the regenerated video. So let me play the video so you can see how it came out. Sometimes you may need to regenerate it a few times until you get what you are essentially looking for. And here is another version of the animation, which I did in two parts by essentially editing it and then merging them together. And here are examples of a few other variations that I tried. As you can see, these are different room settings. If you'd like to get Video Express for a one time discounted price, check the link in the description section. While well, if you're still here, I'm going to share a few interesting tips which will hopefully help you. So first of all, use ChatGPT or Microsoft Copilot to generate the image and video prompts. It will save you a lot of time. So this was the original video prompt and I modified it by adding these two sentences. So I added this one at the start of the prompt to speed it up and then also added this sentence at the end to essentially complete it in five seconds. And as you can see, sometimes uh, the animation will take too long to start. 
and it won't be able to complete the full sequence because we are only limited to 8 seconds maximum. In such cases, what you could do is, you can do it in two parts, as you can see here. I essentially edited it to complete the rest, and essentially what I did was take a screenshot of the last frame, and then recreated another clip to remove the box, and then to move the chair. Well, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching.